little Civil War history today. This is the old Fort C.F. Smith. It's where the Confederates started the fort, but the Union finished it. And it was uh, finished by then Colonel Benjamin Harrison, uh, who ended up becoming President of the United States. Awesome view from up here. Of course, everyone knows it is Hospital Hill. Everyone goes and slides down the hill when it's snowy. But there's some really cool stuff where you can actually see where some of the works are still on the premise here. You can see the bend there. And they had it made where you could have 25, if I'm right, I'm trying to remember, but I think 25 cannons from up here. So it's a very strategic location for this area. But at first, like we said, it was started by the Confederates. Of course, they didn't last long, even though everyone talks about this as the Confederate capital of Kentucky. It was that for, off the top of my head, I'm thinking four, five months. No, you can't see it. I need a better view of it. But there's a nice American flag waving in the distance there. You can see the Corvette Museum way out there. Doubt it's picking it up on here to get a drone or something and shoot this sometime but yeah there's homes of course here now and of course there's the water tower iconic for here just walking on kind of the top of the hill here back when uh 150th anniversary of the start of the civil war there's a couple of people who came out here and did a talk on the fort and they had some pictures of it really cool stuff if you get over to the kentucky museum i believe they have those um, photos of the process of where it was made really cool marker here earthworks thrown up under federal general omsby m mitchell and company or actually, and Colonel, excuse me, Benjamin Harrison, later President, 1862. A lot of people don't realize that he spent some time in Bowling Green. One of the most epic facial hair presidents as well. I know that's random, but... And, you know, bring the kiddos out here and let them play. It's a little humid today, we just had rain. But part of the massive history, Bowling Green. Oh, we got a Civil War marker out here. I'm trying to think of what church steeple we're seeing out in the distance. Okay, here you go. you would see nowadays. A lot of people out here walking. Don't know if it's Pokemon Go or it's just people being healthy. But figured it would be nice to come out here today after the rain and the sun starting to come out. Hope you guys visit and I believe the conventioner convention center uh, also the visitors bureau they have the Civil War maps to kind of see the history of Bowling Green go pick them up